Welcome back to Phoenix White, folks. We are heading into a scavenging mission, and we actually our scan up here finished. So after that, we'll go explore this, and then we'll go set up a scan over here somewhere. So we head into Africa and Europe. But first, scavenging site. So let's deploy. Let's just check the personnel first. Everyone is fine. A little bit injured, but eh, it's just a scratch. So let's deploy. Start the mission. It's a low threat level and it's daylight. So let's go. Here we are and we are ready to protect our stuff. Uh, let's see. Food, food. That's not very interesting. Materials, materials, much more interesting. So we really want to protect those guys if we can. And that's all there is. Seriously? Well, this was a boring mission. Uh, there's something up here as well, some tech. Okay. Okay. Well, let's figure out where they are. You. Uh, how far can you go? You can get up here and take a peek. All right, there's three of them. And what do they have? Machine guns and launch arms and a lot of hit points. And it's the same for all of them, right? Yeah, they're the same. All right. So... I don't actually think I want to shoot at them. I think what I want to do is overwatch. Um, let's come up here and overwatch and not in turn. That would be bad. Let's come up here and overwatch, something like that. You... Hmm. Let's come roll. over here. Get ready to start bashing in some heads. And you heading out. We're just gonna stay in the open really. Because I don't think they'll get close enough that they can really do much damage. Uh, probably there. So that's right in his line of fire. You know what? Instead of doing that, let's move over you. here. And hold that a turn. They're not alerted to us yet, so... Oh, he is. Crap. Crap. We're not hitting anything. Oh well. We will. We will. Alright. Now. We have those three there. Is that all there is on the map, I wonder? I'm kind of guessing no. Dash up. And dash up some more. And... Let's see... Where do we want to hit him? In the face, I guess. Or the legs. Let's do the legs. That was not a great shot. That was better, but still not great. Let's see you. That is an even worse shot. 
Let's come up here. We could take out his arm here. All right. That's a disabled arm. So, what, no machine gun for you, I guess? Nope, but still the launcher arm, which is the one I'm most afraid of. Dash up here. And shoot him. And shoot him some more. He's dead. And there's you. You can dash as well. No rest. Dash up waiting. here. And dash up here. Do it. Uh. There isn't a really good shot here. We're gonna take it anyway. He disabled his arm, which means he doesn't have a launcher thingy. We really need to get dash on that guy. Now, I want to take out his launcher thingy. Preferably. Gotta keep on pushing. No, not you, you. If we just... Shoot in his face, that's good enough. And then we can shoot at your arm. Still shoot his Where can you get to? Only half cover. This is full cover. So you could get in here. In full Dashing cover. Ahead. And end the turn doesn't have his launcher, so that's something. Got a little hit there, but nothing too bad. Let's see, can you make it over there and bash him? No. But you can make it over there and shoot him with your pistol. Maybe even twice. And eh, not twice. Let's head up here. Fire in your face. Yeah, in your face. There we go. He's gonna shoot back. That's fine. Took some damage, but. Ah, crap. He's not gonna bleed to death. I was certain that he was gonna bleed to death from that. Well, let's just shoot him in the way. Kill him. And that's the mission. So a bit of damage, maybe because I was a little bit reckless, but it's fine. Got a couple of level ups. Ooh, he's leveled up to four now. I like that, our Berserker. That means he's getting dash. Hamish came up to level 3. Beautiful. Alright, let's head back to the Geoscape. Okay, so scavenging site cleared. We got 100 tech, 200 materials, 400 food. We got, what is that? Your CRB3 quiver. Synetrian crossbow quiver. Okay. Haven't seen that one before. And some mags. Okay. Now we do want to get a scan going, but I want to 
explore this first. Research complete. Mindfrager eggs. The specimen's shell has proven to be considerably durable, able to resist fire, acid, and small arms fire. The egg contain various animals and plant DNA strands. So far, it has been determined that the eggs act more like a biological stasis pod, which holds mindfraggers in a state of suspension rather than being a growth incubation chamber. The exact mechanism by which the specimen appears and grows remains unknown. Additional findings. Field reports indicate that mindfragger eggs react to human and mechanical presence, beginning the hatching sequence when any foreign entity approaches them. Okay. 50 materials, 400 food. We have a lot of food. We have a crap ton of food, actually. Right, let's explore. Ooh, ambush. Right, level high. At least it's daylight. Okay, ambush. Okay, we have Master Marksman and these two guys. We see one dude over here. What are you? Pincer, shield, and spitterhead. Okay. Now, oh, how much? 220 health. All right. He's the only one we see, so let's see. Can we shoot him? We can. Let's quick aim. I forgot to do the level ups before Target. we we did this, but it's fine. Let's take out his arm. There we go. And let's quick aim again. And see if we can't take out something else on him. But we could just hit him in the arm again, I guess. All that we can really hit, so... Let's do that. He still has his spitterhead, so we need to shoot him a bit more, I think. Tickle him a bit and... Get it over with. Come over here. And take out... Oh, man! Alright, 20 damage. How much health does he have left? 20. Typical. Ready for action. Alright, so he's gonna need to take one more shot. This should do it. Yeah. Got him. Good. I'm on the move. Move back. And we have you here. Let's move up. And overwatch in this direction. Actually. Yeah, in this direction. And you and come in here and overwatch in this general direction and then there's you On come the over here overwatch through here holding position yeah, where yeah. are they there's one okay. he, nope he cannot shoot or anything that's good Okay, uh, you won't be able to get down here and smack him, will you? No, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's him in the leg. And... Put him in the leg. Let's him down. And we have you. Come up here and overwatch over here. You overwatch over here. Let's actually widen it a bit. You overwatch up this way, widen that a bit. Don't think I did. I think I held down Alt instead of Control. It's fine. We'll move you over here and overwatch down in this direction as well. Seems that's where they're coming from. And you can overwatch over this way. Overwatching. Okay, here comes one. You hit it. Ooh, gonna... Alright. Good. Now. 
Since you're right there. Since you're right there. Let's just smack you, shall we? Twice. You're dead. And we just need to survive one more turn and then get out of here, so... Let's... Overwatch. Repositioning. Uh, Overwatch. Receiving loud and clear. Overwatch. Overwatch. And you can. Let's actually Overwatch. That's a little bit dangerous. Let's overwatch there. Not overwatch. All right. Here they come. Now, where is our extraction point? It's up there. Okay. Let's just dash everyone as far as we can. And get the hell out of here. I'm here. You can actually ev evacuate. Already. It's not bad. Let me just evacuate. You. Run. I wish I could tab so I didn't have to see them run sometimes. What's their plan? Just to speed the things up a bit. That's one thing that I liked about um, XCOM. What's our plan? I don't, don't know if it was a mod that did it or it was just XCOM default. Standard or vanilla or whatever you want to call it. But I know it was nice. Alright. That's it. Turn. turn. And next time we are out of here. Okay. We won't get get much done from down there. Alright, let's move in. And you can just evacuate. Move in. Evacuate. Move in. And evacuate. Two left. Sprinting to position. And they should both be able to make it. Evacuate. And evacuate. All right. Not bad. Couple of level ups again, very nice. Very nice. Okay. I like it. Right, ambush survived, nothing to show for it other than undead soldiers or not dead soldiers. Okay, let's see. We have quite a lot of resources. We're building a training facility there. What about other base? We have a lot of power. We do have living quarters here, so let's build. Hmm. Build another lab. And build another fabrication plant, I think. Oh, whoops. Not here, no. No. There. Yeah, let's do that. Speed up our research and our fabrication a bit. That's pretty good. Okay. We need to go scan over here. So on the way, let's just head to base and heal up a bit. Now there's a nest here. 
And I'm not sure if we should go this and take that out. All right, Sunidrian. Sunidrian is an amalgamation of several political movements with roots in social ecology, anarcho-syndicalism, and similar belief systems. Built on a strong opposition to hierarchy, Sunidrian is egalitarian and radically democratic, with decisions being made via public assembly. Despite this, certain more prominent individuals do exist and two streams of thought have begun to crystallize. The polyphonic tendency, who believe that the origin of humanity's dysfunctional relationship with the environment lies in hierarchies of dominance, and the terraformers, who believe in putting humans first and are less opposed to the idea of leadership. The current official goal of Sinedrian is finding a way of coexisting with the new ecosystem, but that goal is being challenged from within. Alright, 150 tech, not bad. Sinedrian was built on a dream. A world without hierarchies, without leaders, where human beings could embrace the potential of technology without its destructive side effects. The radicals of the old world had been proven right. The status quo could not sustain itself. But what now? What was the next step? Some argued for coexistence with the Pandoran ecosystem, hoping for a peaceful solution. Others advocated putting humanity before nature and claiming the planet for themselves. Trusting in the safety of their havens, the people of Sanhedrin argued about the best way forward, but the Pandora virus had little interest in their arguments, and its power was still growing. All right. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Let's head to base and heal up a bit. And we also have some level ups. We have five level ups actually. One of them being the guy who was just left back at base. All right, so you, ready for action. Reloading and inventory actions do not cost any action points. Hmm. Sourceful. Plus two strength, 25. Hmm. Suppose we'll take that. It should give us more health, right? I hope. I hope. Okay, what else do we take here? I think we take some speed. Yeah, let's go up to 12, uh, 22 speed. All right, that was lease. You don't have a level up. You do. And you are going to grab uh, assault training. And you're going to grab dash. Even though it's from our shared pool, it's so important that I think it's worth it. All right. Then we have you. We could multi-class you as well, but I don't think we will. I think we'll do this. So we want two more willpower and then the rest will go into speed and strength, I think. Amish? What do we want to do with you? Reckless? No. Cautious? Nope. Return fire? Not really. So let's... Do this. Brian? You are the one who's just left home at base. I think we'll wait on you for a little bit. And I think that was everything. Yeah. And he can just stay here and level up. Okay, everyone has the gear that they need. They just need to level up or uh, heal up a little bit and they'll be gaining experience while they do so. So that's not bad. 
Our research is Pandoran Capture and Containment. That's pretty nice. And then we'll be doing Pandoran Evolution afterwards. Let's see. Um, manufacturing. We can't do the stun thing yet, can we? No. We probably need to research the Capture and Containment before we can do that. That doesn't make sense. Now, there was one thing I wanted to look at. Because, let's see, for instance, Hamish here. Uh, I would actually really like you to have a shotgun. Some extra ammo. We'll make a couple of extra and just put down here. Alright. So he now has a shotgun. Because his training is not like... Um, well, we could actually do 20, uh, not the accuracy, but the damage. Because he'll be up close and personal all the time, pretty much. Especially when he gets dash. Oh, he has dash. Do we want to give him a new class? No. We don't. We do not. What about you? You have... The willpower and per perception. I don't think I want to give you a new class either. And then we have lease. We could go heavy with her. But do we really want to? So we have one, two, three. Of these guys, so we need one more. And no, I don't think I want to cross class her. No, this guy. So he is nice to have as a assault because he has the assault rifle efficiency, and then he has uh, the sniper as a second class, so he gets a lot of accuracy. So I'd really like him to have a better rifle than he has. But we don't really have one. We don't really have one. We do have this uh, new Jericho armor. But do we need armor for anyone? I th don't think we do. We have armor on everyone, right? Yeah, we do. All right. So we need to heal up a bit. And actually, before we do, I'd really like to go start a scan out here, or even out here. Well, I think out here. Let's head out there and start up a scan, and then go back and heal up. Marching so, on. New Zariko continues to expand its military capabilities. This time with a new class of soldier, the technician. Robotic arms, cranial input hubs. It all sounds very impressive, and we are not exactly opposed to this development. But we do wonder, when is New Zariko going to invest in anything other than war? The technician? He sounds really interesting. I'd like to try him. And my suggestion is that New Jericho keeps investing in war until we finish off these Pandorans. Then we can figure something else out to invest in. Yes, we need to achieve some kind of peace. And we in Synedrion aren't unwilling to fight. But winning is more than just building the biggest army. To win, we need a functional infrastructure. We need people who can plan. We need a system that works. That's true, but right now we just need to kill Bandorans. Alright, so Sinedrian likes New Jericho a little bit less. I don't really care. Let's start this area scan. And then head back home and rest up. This area scan over here is almost done. We need a second ship, really. Did we find anything with this area scan? It doesn't seem like it. Not much, anyway. We might have found something down here. 
I don't know. But I think I want to go down here and start the next area scan. Or maybe all the way up here. So there's a site here. This is one of the mission sites. We also have to go help. No, we did the Sinedrian quest, right? Yeah, we did. So we really need to find a new Jericho Haven. I'm really surprised that we haven't found a single new Jericho Haven yet. Very, very odd to me. All right, let's heal up a bit. Rest up a bit is more important. Scan complete. All right, so that scan is done. And there we go. Okay, let's see. Manufacturing. Is there anything we need to manufacture right now? I don't think there is. Don't think there is. Nah. Research is coming along. We are almost done with Pandoran capture and containment. And then we'll do Pandoran evolution afterwards. For our bases, this training facility will be done soon. So our guys just sitting at home will be leveling up even faster. If we look at personnel. I'd really like to hire another guy, and I'd like to hire an assault, I think. So this guy is for group two, you might say. And one of these guys is for group two. Because we want a heavy in here. Which means we need another assault. Well, actually, yeah, we need another assault. So we could go and find an assault that we could recruit. That's not an assault. That's an assault. 322. Let's have a quick look around. I really want the one who is cheapest on... Uh, 322. Was that the guy we just looked at? I think it was. 301, but that's also a... Does Sinedrian have any soldiers that we could recruit? Oops. No, they don't. So, this here is the closest assault. It looks like they all cost the same. So, let's go hire this assault. And... Info. There was a there was a dude there. There isn't any more. You you weren't an assault. Oh yes, you were. Uh, but we want to go start a scan out here. So is there any? No. What are you? You're not an assault. All right. So let's go grab this assault here. Uh, here's an info. Recruit soldier. He is now back at base and leveling up. Which is good. And Brian actually already leveled up to level 3, so that's nice. That is very, very nice. And then we want to come over here. I think I want to set up a scan down here. And then on the way back, we can investigate those three areas. And area scan. This is a kind of a boring haven. Uh, let's go exploring. Research complete. Ooh, Pandoran capture and containment. Specialized Pandoran containment facilities have been designed and successfully tested, allowing us to safely keep Pandorans in a state of constant paralysis. This represents a step forward in our struggle to understand their biology. New items meant for manufacturing. New razor. And Condor Pandoran containment facility is available for construction. Okay. Paralysis and capture. In order to capture a Pandoran, you need to equip a new razor and move next to it and melee attack until it is paralyzed. When the paralyzed 
paralysis value is greater than the target strength, the enemy is paralyzed and will be captured at the end of the mission. Targets will lose one paralysis per point per turn, so do not let them recover if possible. Disabling any bo enemy body parts decreases the enemy's overall strength, making it easier to capture. You'll need to manufacture new razors to equip your squad and build a containment facility to capture Pandorans. Okay. Fair enough. Let's explore this. An ambush. All right. So I guess in the next episode, we will be starting with an ambush again. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.